Good morning and welcome to my vlog. Welcome everyone. If you're new here, thank you so much for visiting. Hopefully you're gonna like my future videos as well. If you'd like to subscribe, if you like fashion, beauty and style. Today is Tuesday and a very, very exciting day. For me anyway. I hope it's gonna be exciting for you as well because this video will be out. <laughs> So today I am going to a place called Kildare Village and Kildare Village is um, a place with designer boutiques on discount, discounted prices. So they have Reese, oh, oh yes, they have Reese, they have Pandora, Swarovski um, and many, many other brands. They do not have a Karen Millen. I thought they will have a Karen Millen. I was really excited because I want to look at a few discounted pieces from Karen Millen. But unfortunately, you no, know, they don't have it hmm, anymore. But um, also, I think they have, if I'm pronouncing it right, Wolfert. Wolfert is the brand that um, they have like a slips, tights as well. I just need a slip for underneath one of the dresses that arrived today. And I think I mentioned before, I do not have a proper um, under underdress slip. So I'm hoping to call in there as well. Colin, come over, Colin, <laughs> go into that shop and have a little browse. Maybe some accessories from Reese. I don't need, I think, more tops and dresses, but if I see something nice, of course, I won't be able to resist it. I have to be very sensible, so I will be, and I will try to be sensible. Also, um, there's a lovely Italian food place, we, which we are hoping to have something to eat, if there is no queue. But before that, we're going to go for the beautiful walk in Cora. I think I'm just saying the right. It's the most unusual place. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place um, to go for a walk. So... Uh, us. I am going actually today to Kildare with Colm's mum and our favourite thing is to do when my mum my mom is over also three of us kind of we go in for a walk, coffee, um, shopping and of course something to eat. So our favourite thing to do. Um, yes, that's the plan for today. Two dresses arrived today and I've been obsessed with the dresses recently. I'm not sure that you noticed but um, I need to show them to you in the one minute also, when I come back, I think I'm just going to go and when I come back, I'm going to film with you um, what arrived in post today because I'm really excited. And I think I'm just going to make a special video just only about the dresses, what I bought recently, um, how like a dress is kind of transitional dresses, which can wear only in the summer, not only um, in the winter, but also summer, autumn kind of throughout the year. Because I like the pieces that you can wear all year around. And I think I don't really classify anything apart from maybe coats, um, one season item, maybe just like a bikini and a coat, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of extreme but other than that i'm kind of all pieces that i'm buying i'm always wearing all year around so two exciting dresses arrived today and yes so let's go to kildare village let's go to cora Oh, hello, aren't you so pretty? Aren't you gorgeous? Yes, who is gorgeous? Thank you. 
I am back home. What an exciting day. I hope you like the Cora. It's a very unusual place as well for walk and there's loads of animals but I couldn't film too much as well. I think there's like an army station or something or camp so um, I could not record too much but I did just a few shots as well. I hope you like it. It's a beautiful place clo close to race course as well uh, which I do not support horse racing but um, it was lovely to see animals as well in the stud. It's just beautiful beautiful place. Very very different to where we live anyway and then the shopping i love this place i would never been so fond of it before but now i think i appreciate a little bit more and more kildare village and just the shops everyone was so pleasant everyone was wearing masks we got it sanitized hands everywhere basically there's sanitizer everywhere we had a lovely meal as well with Callum's mom and yeah it was just a beautiful day out and yes i was trying to be very sensible not to spend too much there's a lovely casual jacket to wear in a wreath and i i resisted and i'm still thinking of it because it would be nice for just a casual wear it was 140 euro which is quite a lot um just for the moment for me anyway as an expenses but yeah i might be tempted i know it's online they didn't have it in size extra small and a small look quite loose. I did not try it on, but I bought something from Reese for Colin, and I might just show it to you as well. So maybe if you want to buy it for um, your brother, husband, fiance, partner, or whoever, <laughs> uh, then yes, maybe you would like some pieces. They were actually very, very good value for the t-shirts, and also I bought a shirt as well for Colin. Um, for myself, oh, let me just show you what I bought, which I was looking at it online and then something else that I wasn't expecting I'm gonna buy but I thought of it before I know this is like a lot of clothes let's have a look from Reese for column I bought two t-shirts in this lovely taupey gray and also blue color and then shirt this is a soft gray with a little bit of like a pattern going through it beautiful beautiful shirt I saw it actually on the man who was working there and it looks really really well on him so I decided to buy it for Colin also because he need more nice kind of smart casual shirts and this one is just going to be perfect for him um, t-shirts were only 23 euros which is fantastic value for the t-shirts and the shirt was 85 also for myself I went to Tory Birch and I bought a belt and I'm really really excited about it because I was looking for black belt but on top of this this is actually reversible so you can wear it as a brown or as a black and I love just a small little detail at the front so this is quite narrow belt but it will be perfect for my current Milan dress um, or maybe for you if you want to so this one was um, 190 euros on the full price and I bought it for 85 euros which I thought was very very good value for double-sided belt from a designer actually designer belt so this brooch um, closure could be moved to the other side so you also you can wear it at the front when you are in belt as a brown color. I've also bought unexpectedly shoes. I was not planning to buy shoes at all but if you watch my older videos I was looking for canvas shoes. Let me just take that plastic out. I was looking for the nice canvas shoes and I show you shoes from Prada on my Instagram and everyone's saying, ah, maybe not. So I decided to wait and surprisingly they have these ones and I thought they were so lovely. So this is lovely matte leather as well. It's not too shiny and they're lovely and slim. Oh, they look so nice. I'm going to try them on for you maybe later or the next part of this video, but I'm really, really pleased with them as well. And they were reduced from, I think again, 190 euro to 65 euros. I could not believe it how good value they have they were also available in different colors a little bit lighter shade with the brown design logo but I thought this is really nice and look at the finish inside so you have as well Tory Burch logo inside and nice sole on them just really really beautiful shoes I know the summer is nearly gone but I thought I will gonna wear that, that forever. These shoes are not gonna date. So I'm really, really pleased with my purchases. So very sensible for myself and sensible for Callum. <laughs> but still, I think they love your purchases. Also, let me show you what arrived in post today. Karen Millen. If you watched my previous video, you probably 
notice that I mentioned before that I want to buy this dress in khaki. I bought it in a cream color and I also want it in the khaki and a size 8 appeared as I mentioned to you before on the website so I could not resist it and I immediately put it in my basket and bought it. There was only a couple of pieces left. I love that on Karen Milan that it actually says, I hope it's true, but I would say it is, there's only two or one piece left so you know you kind of have to make a decision to buy it or not. Also, when I was buying belt today from Tory Burch, look how beautiful they are going to look together. So I am going to try that on for you, hopefully in this video. I will try to try it for you in this video, uh, but maybe tomorrow or the day after I'm going to record the next, uh, second part of this video. Also, this is just a beautiful full-length knitted dress from Pretty Lavish. Never bought anything from this brand before but I'm really, really pleased with it. I was looking at this dress again, it was gone in a size, and I subscribed with my email in the hope that they will let me know when it arrived, and it did. So if you're in the same situation, just subscribe with the email underneath the, uh, this dress, and hopefully they will notify you also when it arrived in your size. So I got a size um, small to medium, and I've already tried it on, and it's absolutely beautiful. I have a side belt, so it's kind of like a wrap around belt, and it's quite long, but you have to see it on to appreciate it. It's a, a quite good, actually, a knit um, on this dress, and I really hope it's going to wash well. It's definitely it's not a kind of in the wreath uh, bracket, but I still think for the price that it was, it's going to be a lovely and wearable casual dress if I want to with the flats or anything like that. Look at the mess on this table. <laughs> but it's so worth it. Really, really happy with the purchases today and it definitely I am so pleased that I was able to buy the belt. Also, if you're in Kildare Village by any chance um, yourself, they have them also in the wider version, which I'm regretting now. I think that I didn't buy the wider belt also because I thought it would be nice over jackets or coats. And again, it was also reversible, so I might rethink it. And if I'm visiting again Kildare Village, I might buy it again. They don't always have that extra 40% on top of the sales. Today they did, so I was really, really lucky that I was able to buy it for even less. So my makeup is nearly gone now at this point, but I want to share with you a garden, a progress on our grass in the garden. And it was so exciting. I think it might be finished either tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So next time you go and see it, hopefully they will be just really nice and smooth and the grass start growing. For the moment so far, um, the garden was rotated, if that's the right word, so all the stones were brought to the surface and then after that it's just gonna, all the stones gonna get picked and everything just gonna be nice and smooth and ready for a grass sowing. So I'm gonna finish this part of this video now because it's time to make a dinner and dinner is not gonna be really exciting and also I need to hover house. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next part of this video, hopefully Thursday. I'm gonna to have to catch this very quickly. I'm so excited. My sweetheart is after coming back. And who is my boy? Who is my boy? Who is my favorite boy in the whole world? Who is my favorite boy in the whole world? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, he's so friendly. I just love him. We call him Bicky because he used to look like he had a lot of Bickies. But I love him so much. He's so friendly as well. He's different to the other cat. He has a more like white paws. But he's my favorite, favorite. He's so afraid of the other one, so he keep looking out the door. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, I so love him and miss him so much. So he's very rarely coming in now, because frightened of the other cat. But I love him. Oh, my little scrubber. He's so gorgeous, he's so gorgeous. Yummy. Lovely, loads of treats for him. Good morning everyone and welcome. Today I am wearing a dress that I promised to show you in the other part of this video. So I am delighted with it. So it's the first time actually that I'm wearing it and it's so comfortable, cozy, it's lovely, a good quality. Um, not amazing quality, it's not a cashmere but it's good quality as well for the price of it. So I'm really really happy with it, keep me warm and it's perfect something to wear maybe with the tights if I'm going shopping or just around the house as well, just comfortable. So I'm going to show you because you can wear it two ways this dress and let me just go with you to the other room and we have a look in the mirror together. So here it is, a beautiful blush, comfortable knitwear dress love the sleeve on it. I, I'm obsessed with the bigger size sleeves and I 
tied the belt around my waist like so but there's another way to wear it and I'm going to show you that in one second this way the way I have it now it might show a little bit of tummy but hey who cares also lovely v-neck that it's not too low at all I love that way I do not like too low v-necks and yeah I'm wearing it with Lacoste shoes um, obsessively I'm wearing them all the time because they're so comfortable but I know also this dress will be very very pretty with um, knee height boots for example it's very long on me for the petite person I'm sure if you're taller it probably looks a little bit nicer even but so far so good really really beautiful dress comfortable that you can wear um, you can dress it up properly a little bit as well maybe for nice dinner but I'm gonna wear it more for casual way um, let's say if you're going for shopping or around the house just to feel nice snuggle a comfortable yet a little bit pretty a little bit pretty <laughs> so I'm gonna tie this belt a slightly different way just to show you the other way that you can wear this dress also so this is the second way to wear this dress I do not have a belt now at the front at all, yet the dress itself kind of creates a lovely little bit of a ruching detail and with the bow on the side, the belt just running across my back only. I feel the other way, just probably give me a little bit of a better waistline, but still I think it's just really, really comfortable and pretty either way. This way also I feel a height tummy a little bit because of the ruching. So it depends what I'm going to eat today. I am going to wear this dress. <laughs> depends if I'm going to get bloated or not, <laughs> as usual. I've noticed recently whatever I eat, I feel bloated all the time. But hey, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in comments below. What do you think about this dress? I think it's really, really, really pretty. I'm really happy with this. So today is a good hair day. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. I got a little bit of volume and I would love, 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 love buy a Dyson air wrap. Oh, I would love to try it. It's definitely on my list and I cannot wait to get it. So this is not amazing room. This is just okay room that I'm using for my makeup and using a blow dry my hair, straightener and so on, style my hair. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so the writing on the wall, it's something really, really old. Uh, I put that writing when we had a little bit of like a gym in this room. It's a smaller room. It's not gray room. Eventually it's going to be um, our office columns and my office. But for the moment, I'm using it for the makeup and let me show you my um, Ikea hack. Yeah, let's let me show you my Ikea hack So this is the place where I'm doing my makeup and also my hair and this unit from Ikea Was abandoned by me for about a year and now recently I was like why won't I use it for something really 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 good So what I've done I've created specifically a hair unit so this is all my products, my hair products and go-go's and clips and so on in the first drawer because that's the things that I'm using the most. The next one would be my just regular hairbrushes. I know I have a lot of hairbrushes. <laughs> um, also more hairbrushes as well, more kind of for blow drying. And this, this is what I love about it. That little part over here, let me just keep the cables running outside and have them plug in all the time so this is blow drying a drawer my um, hair dryer and also my blow drying brushes next one is my hair straightener as well um, GHD and also the next one is my curlers as well and this is my uh, conditioning tool but anyway all those cables are running down underneath and as you can see I plug them into extension lead and that extension lead is plugged into the wall. So now every time, which I love, 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 I need a tool, all I can do just take it out, switch it on. It's so, so handy. Before I was individually plugging into <laughs> that little plug every single dryer. So I blow dry my hair, unplug it, put a hair straightener and so on. And now it's all plugged in and ready to go. I am so happy with this i just could not be happier to be honest with this drawer union so in the future i will be definitely thinking a little bit more of creating something like it but maybe professionally made um when i'm gonna make in my wardrobe so while we're here in this room let me show you something else so this is my wedding dress it's not done it's slightly pinned 
but I'm refusing to look in directions of it because I'm worried that I'm going to get fed up with it. So I kind of trying to forget about it for another maybe two or three months and then I'm going to start to work on it. Hopefully my mum will be able to help me. And I don't think I've mentioned, but um, we postponed our wedding for another year um, due to COVID. I am refusing to wear face mask on my wedding so as my guests and also to have a social distance. So if the situation is very same next year, I'm gonna postpone the wedding again. Callum and I, we both agreed we do not want social distancing on our wedding and also wearing face mask. Uh, but yeah, that's the room where I am keeping wedding dress at the moment. Also, I have the rail of a clothes that I'm not actually wearing at the moment and I'm not sure what to do with those clothes. If you have any good website that you can recommend, maybe that I can put it let me just sit down. Maybe that I can put it on and try to sell it. Just please let me know. I am not going to wear those things, I think. I think. And I'm refused to put them in the wardrobe for the reason that I do not have them. I don't want to have them in the wardrobe. I want to have everything in the wardrobe that I really love and enjoy to wear. But anyway, while we're here, let me just chat with you a little bit about the makeup. I never record here before and the light is so good. Hair, hair looks great. Why not? So first of all, I mentioned in my previous vlog that I made a huge mistake with my beauty blender. So I've been storing my beauty blender in a clothes compartment like this one. So I dumped my beauty blender, I put it in the box, closed the lid and I was happy out because every time I reached out for it, the beauty blender was nice and moist. But after a while, I've noticed this is what's happened with the beauty blender. And I'm sure that you heard about that before, but this is actually mold. And I did not, I could not figure out what it is. I thought it was makeup. It was parts of my makeup, maybe my uh, black liner or anything went on it. But the strange thing happened, I had a few beauty blenders and suddenly all of them start to look in that. And the only place where I was storing them was the box. Then I figure out there's something wrong going on here and I start to Google it and yes, this is actually mold. And believe it or not, it's disgusting. I was using it like that. It wasn't as bad as it is now, but I was using with the mold on it and I could not figure out why I have a skin breakout, why my skin doesn't look as good as always. And this was the reason. So this is going to go to the bin. I just only hold it for the reason to show you what not to do with the beauty blender. From now on, this is my second beauty blender. And I apologize that it's a little bit dirty because I've used it this morning. I am using, um, this is kind of old little box after my jewelry. And I put a little bit of tissue over there and that's how I'm starting. Just after using it, I'm just leave it like that to dry. And so far so good, there's no mold on it and I really hope this method is going to work so I'm air drying it and also I'm leaving it on my makeup desk. I am not putting it into the drawer again not to keep it in confined and closed space. But I promised, I think I've promised or I meant to promise and I apologize for the state of it but I bought a few things from Charlotte Tilbury and that's what I'm wearing today as my makeup. It's a Charlotte Tilbury beautiful palette. It's a small little palette it's called um, Darling Look, and I love, 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 love those colors. They are more on corally side of of color. <laughs> Can I say that? In corally side of color. Well, I don't think that's in English, but anyway, um, let me compare. I just love comparing things to you for you um, together. So let me just grab Naked Palette. This is Naked number three, and I would like you to see both colors together, the difference between them, just in case if you wonder. So you can see that Charlotte is so much more in corally shade, where Naked 3, it's more pinky. Yeah, it's more pinky kind of, and what other colors? Mauvey, maybe? I think that's the wrong word. But I love these colors, and of course those three are my favorite. These ones are a little bit too dark, so actually this one I'm using sometimes as an eyeliner, and these ones for the corner of my eye to give a little bit more definition. But that's what I'm wearing today, and actually it's this color, um, this color and this color combination I'm wearing on my upper eyelids, and I love it. The Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows are so good if it comes to that kind of glitter, because it's a very, very fine, it's more like a sheen, 
than inexpensive looking glitter. Beautiful eyeshadow palette and I think Honestly, I was tempted to buy big eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, but I think I am happy with this one anyway for the moment. Um, let me just check my lippy. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look too bad. <laughs> but what I'm wearing today is also when I was buying this palette, I promised myself I just want to make a little like a nice full look of the same product, and this is Pink Venus, and also it's it is in this kind of corally family of colors <laughs> and I love Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip liners because they just give a lovely matte effect although I also applied I received this little kind of I'm using a lot of word kind of I apologize I am working on it so I received this sample from Charlotte Tilbury when I was buying something I think in Brown Thomas and this color beach perfect is actually what I'm wearing today and I love it. So I think I'm just gonna buy the full lipstick, probably, although I am a lip liner person, but it works perfectly as well with that lip liner. So it creates this lovely, corally, between corally and blushy look. But let's move on to one more product that I bought that I have to show you from Charlotte Tilbury that I'm wearing today is a blusher. So this blusher is also very dirty. <laughs> but it's a corally shade also that works well with the palette. Let me just put it close to the palette and then also I'm just gonna compare this to another blusher that I have that you have seen in my previous video. So this one is Cheek to Chic and as you can see, they work so well together. And the other one that I have that you have seen in my previous videos, this one is called Sorry, Cheek to Chic. So this one is First Love. Cheek to Chic, is, of course, is the name of the, the product itself. <laughs> but the color, this one is um, Ecstasy, this one. And this one is First Love. So they are slightly different. First Love is more pinky. And again, this one is more in coral, coral family. <laughs> so that's what I'm wearing today. All Charlotte Tilbury that I've just mentioned now. So I hope you like my new makeup collection. If you want to show me how I'm doing that makeup look, it's very, very simple. Please let me know in comments below and I'll be happy to record it for you. But I know you love my channel more for fashion, so I should stop talking about the beauty products and move on. <laughs> but what else on the agenda? On the agenda today is going to be um, propagate, again, that I learned that word or not, my hydrangeas. So I have a little... DIY glass house. It's not great. I know there's so many beautiful vloggers and bloggers out there have amazing houses and gardens and and beautiful raised beds and here I am everything is just kind of a DIY but hey hopefully it will give you idea as well and yeah so let's go downstairs. I think I just make a lot of noise here. Let's go downstairs and I'm gonna show you my a DIY glass house. <laughs> it's not really glass house but let's have a look. <laughs> house is a little bit messy today but what a beautiful sunshine please don't look at the background as well at the mess of course i will because if i say do not look at the elephant in the room of course you will be looking at the elephant in the room so i did not tidy um today I, i'm in general i'm just keeping house really really tidy but um today is one of those mornings when i was prefer to looking after myself and try to look my best for this video instead of tidying the house i've also bought lilies and finally they should be white lilies. So I bought them in Tesco, Ooh, 12 euros in Tesco. And once they start blooming, I am gonna keep them until the flowers fall out and then I'm just gonna plant it in my garden because it's, it's impossible. I was looking in the garden centers for um, white lilies and hydrangeas and it's very, very hard to buy. And also white iris flowers. I think they're just beautiful and elegant flowers for the any garden. And I couldn't buy it yet. I was able to buy that little guy in Tesco, and you can use up. Of course, it's a all year, um, all year, no, every year kind of bulb, bulbous. Oh, I can't speak. It's a flower that it grows from the bulbs. I think I just need to record it again. Let's start again. So I bought this, those beautiful lilies um, in Tesco. I was unable to buy it in the garden center and they are flowers that grow, that grow from bulbs every single year. Uh, I just give up. 
So it looks like I'm throwing everything into this video, but I, let me show you the progress on our grass in the garden. If you watched the previous video, I am so excited, both of us, our column and I, because we've been waiting for this grass for so long. <laughs> So what's happening now it looks so lovely and even the grass actually have been sown and now we have to wait probably a couple of weeks to see anything start to grow in over here but it's so lovely even and flat we are so happy with this the results that we got as well amazing man he was working so so hard and first of all he kind of turned the soil around and the bigger stone came out to the surface and then the team that was with him was picking up the stones raking them and then he do it again then he um used another machine as well a more finer machine again loads of raking loads of picking up stone because ireland is general has loads of stones in the soil itself and it's more kind of in our garden anyway it's more clay type of soil then after that he used another machine which just gave those kind of ridges and also at the same time he was sowing a grass and flattened as well the surface so it looks really really well we're really happy with it i cannot wait to see the grass growing but i'm definitely going to keep the progress with you and yeah it's going to be so nice and tidy and hopefully next year we'll be able to do a nice surface on the patio maybe more plants so i'm going to take this poor little hydrangea and I'm going to be very, very gentle with it. I'm going to take a few more stems out of this and try to create a few more plants out of one. My DIY glass house. <laughs> Just a simple IKEA plastic box. And inside, I have already two stems of hydrangeas. I cut them about two days ago, placed them in a soil with a rooting hormone, which I'm going to show you in one second, because I'm going to do that with you in a minute. We just do it together. And also, I've watched the video how to do it, so it's not my idea, but they should live in their own environment now. I don't need to water them anymore. Um, they should be happy out for at least five or six weeks until the roots start growing. And I really hope they will start growing. If not, I've just destroyed one of my beautiful hydrangeas. <laughs> So let's create a few more plants from this beautiful hydrangea and I will try to be as gentle as possible. This is something that uh, it's new to me as well and I've watched the videos as I do not have experience with creating more plants from one plant. But if I could say so myself, I'm actually very good with the plant, so I really hope this is going to work. Promise, if this is going to work, you're going to have to subscribe to this channel if you're new and watch every single of my videos. So in five weeks, we will know is, are we going to have a few more plants out of this one? Of course, I'm going to replant this one in the garden. I'm not planning to do anything drastic with this, just a few pieces. I'm going to cut it off and hopefully I can have maybe five or six more plants and definitely we will know more next year. But let's start. So what I bought from the local garden store is rooting powder. It's not necessary, but it was advisable that will help for the plant to root faster and better. Also just the black soil plant <laughs> and a little bit of water over here. First of all, I'm using also a plastic containers which are from yogurt and putting two of them together give me enough height for the plant to root and also have its own kind of like glass house environment. We need to choose a stem, a part of the plant that has no flowers on at all. And this one looks nice and long and I'm just gonna cut it below if you could see it, maybe I'll just move it a little bit this way. I'm just going to cut just below the leaf level. This one is nice and long as well. I do not want to cut this plant too low. So like so, now I'm going to remove a bottom leaves. So as these ones. And for some reason, I don't know why, we need to cut these two leaves in half. Someone might, might of you know why, please let us know in comments below. So now I'm going to dip the plant in the water. And I'm going to leave it on its side for one second as we need to cut the bottom of this plastic container just for the water to be able to come out from the pot itself. So like so, I'm just going to cut in the four corners just a little bit 
so the pot won't keep the water. Now, a little bit of soil. This is my DMS. I probably should not be doing this on my dining table, but I do not have a lovely glass house or any place at all, unless I'm gonna do it in the garden, but here is nice and cozy. So, a little bit more of soil. I think that's probably enough. Now, rooting powder, and I'm gonna dip my plant in the powder and remove the excess. Now straight to a dry soil like so. Now I'm going to put a little bit of water over this. This could be really messy, <laughs> but just a little bit of water, enough water to dampen the soil, but not to over soak it. So just a little bit, I let it run to make sure that there's enough of water in it. I think that's enough. Sorry, you can't see it. <laughs> And then I'm gonna place another pot on the top of it and I'm just gonna place a salad tape on each side and I'm gonna leave it like that for about five weeks. Apparently, because the soil is damp already, um, the water will travel around this plastic container up and down and there's no need to water those plants for about five weeks until we see some roots. I'm also gonna place my glass house, if I didn't mention before, on the floor in bright room but without direct sunlight so i think i am going to finish this video let's not do more gardening with you guys thank you so much for watching i'm gonna place my beautiful plants i'm just gonna get a few more pieces i hope to achieve maybe six or seven plants in total after out of this one if i can and yeah, let's keep the fingers crossed. I'll keep you up to date on the grass growing in the garden as well because I know some of our friends cannot visit us and they would love to see as well what's happening. Sharon, hello Sharon. <laughs> um, we spoke with Sharon uh, about this and I want to see you guys as well how our grass is progressing and the plants as well and hope you get some ideas for yourself too. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I hope you can see it. So it's just gonna be lovely and happy out in it. So this is mummy hydrangea. It still look okay. And now it's ready to be planted in the garden. And her little babies are going to stay here for a couple of weeks. And I definitely, I promise I keep you up to date as well what's happening with them.